Hey YouTube, it's Sean from Making Memories Again, and I'll bet a lot of you have seen these before in your home or maybe even uh, in a DJ setting. It's your very, very, very simple can light fixture. You've got a socket there for your bulb, a metal enclosure, and a little uh, on off switch, and that's really it. Typically, you'll see uh, your standard white bulb put into this and it'll be put behind a plant in a corner or uh, some use like that just to give a little bit of up lighting or mood lighting to a room. Uh, sometimes you'll see people put party bulbs like the uh, coiled fluorescent bulbs that come in blue and green and that, that can really be a nice effect. I've done that before. Just put a few of these around the room in different colors and it spices things up. Two disadvantages um, well I guess a disadvantage per type of bulb with that setup. Your regular house bulb, 60 watt, 40 watt, they get really hot, not something you want to touch, and the fixture itself gets hot. And the cold fluorescents, while they don't get as hot, they're still pretty warm. I've measured both with a thermometer in the past, and you'd be amazed how hot an incandescent or halogen bulb in one of these can get easily into the uh, three digits. But I've got a, a new twist on this today, because I'm sure you're wondering why I'm showing you this. Here we have an LED, it's a uh, 3 watt, I believe, 3 1 watt LEDs, 3 watt fixture, or 3 watt element. And this one's from GE. And this middle part that I'm holding is actually a heat sink. LEDs do generate some heat, but something basic like this can really dissipate that heat really quick. And even in a can light like this, it doesn't really get that warm. You can pick these up and move them around. A uh, kid that runs over and puts their hand on it, they're not going to burn themselves. And it fits in there nicely and gives you a really great uplight effect. Now, I thought about this and came up with a uh, little twist. These cans come with a little black plastic ring here that goes in about half an inch. And it occurred to me, let's see if I can get it out here, it's a little tricky to do with one hand. There are clips on here, and these clips are what provide the tension to keep this ring in the fixture. What I did, as I'll show you here, I took some lighting gel. Anyone who's familiar with the old halogen lighting days or stage lighting will know all about this stuff. Cut it. Actually cut it in a circular pattern with three tabs. The tabs align with those metal pieces I just showed you so that you can clip. You can use the tab here to clip onto the gel and hold the gel in place so that it's not going to come down and touch the light or fall out of the fixture. It's actually in there really nice. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, I've got one of the can lights with the 3 watt LED bulb firing straight up this brick wall. I would guess this wall is uh, probably 30, maybe 40 feet tall. It's hard to say. It's in the back of a, uh, mm, let's say medium sized auditorium. This is with no gel or anything, just the light of the LED. And I don't know how easily you're going to be able to tell it in the video, but it's a nice warm white light. It's not the cool blue LED and not that uh, slightly odd light you get when you mix a red, green, and blue light together from a lot of LED fixtures. This one's just a nice warm white. And that warm white really translates well to shining through gels. So let's take a look at the same light, but with a yellow gel installed. Okay, we've got the can light, same position. The only difference being I've added a yellow lighting gel. Yellow works extremely well with these bulbs. As a matter of fact, there's only one color that doesn't seem to work well, and that's a deep, rich blue. If you put a uh, blue light on here, I mean a uh, blue gel, and it's kind of a light aqua, no problem. It'll shine through basically like you're seeing now, all the way up to the top of a tall ceiling or up a tall column. Put a dark blue, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe something to do with the wavelength, I really don't know, but you don't get much light output at all. But as you can tell, yellow looks great. Um, a few of these around the room at a wedding or at really any event kind of gives you some light to the room 
and it's just great. Let me uh, walk over just a few steps here and you can see I've got the light behind a table so that you don't see the light. All you see is the uplighting and this is wonderful on a wall like this where you've got block or brick. really creates a nice textured look. So let's, uh, let's try another color. I think I've got one more gel with me. Okay, I mistakenly only brought a couple of colors for these can lights, but I did bring a green, thankfully. And I'll show you how that works. Projects all the way up to the ceiling without any problem. Let's take a step back. Puts a nice, nice wash up the wall. Little dim in the camera, although in the naked eye you can, you can still see it on the bricks uh, below the ceiling there. Green, no problem. One of the colors that works really well with these. And now what I'd like to do is I'm going to cut this light off and show you just how easy it is to put a gel into one of these. Okay, like I said, I want to show you just how easy it is to swap a color in or out of one of these uh, can lights. Here's the ring. And the ring has these three metal tabs. It's a little tricky to film. I've got a small tripod in front of me, but there we go. There's the tabs. And here's what I was talking about, about the gel. You don't have to be very accurate. Just cut it about to the uh, same size as the ring. All I did was trace it on there. And wherever you've got a tab, make a mark and cut yourself just, a, uh, just about a thumb width tab. That's plenty. So all we do now, take your, take your ring, Let's see if I can get this on camera and push the gel underneath that tab. This is really hard to do on camera. Okay, there we go. That's one. Spin around. Two. And three. Now, you've got your gel. Any color you want, just buy your uh, lighting gel of choice. Put it in the ring, put it in the can, plug it in, and easy, cheap, safe uplighting. Practice and enjoy.